I've learned that any type of pursuit in life only consists of a few fundamental ideas and concepts. So for example, when it comes to science, there are two fundamental pillars, uh, which are theory and experiment. So these concepts really help us to understand the whole world uh, around us. And it's really the same thing when it comes to getting rich and building wealth. So I've identified five pillars that help us to understand how to get rich. And I've been building wealth according to, to these principles myself. And I can say that it works. So in this video, I'll explain what those pillars are so you can use them in your own life. So the first pillar of wealth building is self-investment. And my father always said something like, hey, if you want to create anything, you need to invest in yourself. And this is one of those you know, platitudes that's been passed around for ages. And it's really the foundation of every pursuit in life. Because what do we mean when we talk about a wealthy person? Or what does wealthy even mean? Have you ever thought about that? So just you know, go on Google and search it, and you, what you'll find is this. A plentiful supply of a particular desirable thing. And what is that thing? Is it money, time? Because those are the most obvious answers. But in this video, I want to challenge your thinking. You know, what's another desirable thing in a modern world? Think about it. To me, it's ideas. So if you reverse engineer how most people earn money, it always starts with an idea, right? So just look at every invention or business or product and even every career. It all started with a good idea. So if you have good ideas, you can create value out of nothing. Now you might think, well, hey, why is it everybody doing this? Well, <laughs> investing in yourself takes a lot of time and energy, and that's why most people can't be bothered, you know. Um, and on top of that, when you're in the process, you know, you don't see any rewards. You don't see any benefits from this. And um, Stephen Covey, the author of the, um, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, said it best. He said, be patient with yourself. Self-growth is tender. It's holy ground. There's no greater investment. So if you have patience, learn skills, build a network, and develop good habits, I will promise you, you will reap the rewards from it later. Remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. And that brings me to the second pillar, and that's income generation. So at some point, you want to put your ideas to work. Because if you can do that, you can start creating real value. And it's really simple. When we create value, we generate income. Most people work because they want to have a supply of money, just money coming in. And money is obviously what you need to be, become wealthy. <laughs> but too often, you know, we just try to skip pillar one and two. We just want to jump in to generating cash by investing our money into assets. And, you know, there are always people who think they can generate money, you know, a lot of money with nothing. Just look at how many people jumped into Bitcoin or GameStop at the top, right? But hitting it big with those types of deals, uh, that's almost like hitting the lottery. Obviously, it's not impossible. You can do it, but chances are slim. Um, either way, in the real world, we all need to create value with our skills. And then we need to put that money to work. So that's pillar three, asset investing. So everybody wants to build wealth without putting in the hours. It's a smart thing to do, right? Uh, and we all know that is also the real key to building wealth. Um, so you buy something of value and you wait until it increases over time. Or you can put your money into real estate, um, which will generate some you know, nice uh, cash flow for you as well. But here's the thing, there are many types of assets that can generate cash. Um, and you can also build your own business, which is also an asset, right? Never forget that either. Um, but the thing is, when you start investing it in assets, it's important to understand your own appetite for risk. So if you want to take less risk, try investing in real estate or in index funds. 
Now, if you want to take more risks, look into trading stocks or crypto. You know, no matter what you do, always be aware of the risks you're taking and avoid trying to hit the jackpot. You know, that's not a strategy. A good investing strategy is the thing that will actually make you really rich. Uh, not a lot of people have a salary of a million bucks a year, right? Uh, it's very difficult to achieve. However, if you have patience and invest in the right assets, you can definitely become rich over time. Okay, so the next pillar is the most boring, and I won't spend much time on this uh, stuff. Uh, it's asset protection. So at some point, you'll have enough wealth that you need to protect that wealth from external factors. So, you know, that means you want to keep it safe from, you know, legal actions or, you know, legal situations against you. Um, and this has everything to do with financial laws, but also tax, right? So the, the point of asset protection is that you want to mind your own business and make sure that your assets are protected. So you'll have some peace of mind, right? And when it comes to taxes, like I'm a proponent of paying taxes, but you also don't want to pay more than is required, right? So, but at this stage of wealth building, you'll have lawyers and accountants and, and consultants to take care of these things for you. And it's definitely the least interesting and exciting part of wealth building. So the last pillar of wealth is capital allocation. Now at this stage, you're really rich. So imagine that you've acquired so much wealth that the only thing you're doing is moving around resources. You know, for example, you know, you might sell one stock and buy another one. You might liquidate one business and then start a new one. You know, you might sell land and then buy some other uh, more cash generating asset. And for example, you know, major investors like Warren Buffett and Chamath Palipatia, all they do is move around capital. Uh, these guys are really in the capital allocation business. And you can do that on a smaller scale as well. You don't have to be a billionaire, obviously, to do that. Um, you just simply look at where the biggest financial opportunities are and, you know, the, the promise for the best return. And then you put your capital to work for you. Um, and when your capital does the work for you, that's when you really get rich. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? Sounds very obvious, but it's super hard to do. And that's exactly why most people never do it. And I bet right? That some people will comment on this video and say, hey, oh, dude, you know, just show me how to make some money. <laughs> you know, if it was that simple, honestly, everybody was rich. Just think about it. You, my friend, you have to put in the work yourself. And that's harsh advice, I know. But honestly, I wish somebody told me this in high school. All right. I hope you found this useful. Now go out there and start building wealth. You know, you can start small. Even Warren Buffett started only with a few hundred bucks. If something's possible, who says you can't do it? Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, you will probably love my uh, free mini course as well. It's called Wealth Strategies. And in that course, I'll dive deeper into the specific strategies I've used to become financially and also emotionally independent and you can get free access by following the link that's in the description so take care